Scoliosis. The scoliosis is an abnormal lateral curvature of the spine. This lateral curvature can be greater than 10 degrees which can be associated with the rotation of the vertebrae. Clinically, the scoliosis is of two types, structural and the non-structural. The structural scoliosis is said when it involves both the lateral curvature and the rotation of the vertebrae. And the non-structural type is when the spine has a defect in the curvature that is lateral curvature but there is no structural deformity of the spine. That means there is absence of the rotation of the vertebrae. This non-structural curvature or the scoliosis is usually seen in response to a habit or a disease. Now let's learn about the causes of the structural scoliosis. It is seen in the congenital scoliosis that is formed due to the bone abnormality which is present at the time of birth. The second one is the neuromuscular or the myopathic scoliosis. This is a result of abnormal muscles or the nerve. As the name indicates, neuromuscular abnormal nerves or the abnormal muscles. It is frequently seen in the people with deformities like spina bifida or the cerebral palsy which are accompanied by the paralysis. The degenerative scoliosis is also a form of the structural scoliosis. It results from the traumatic bone collapse or the history of the back surgery or osteoporosis. So it can occur due to trauma, trauma of the bone, surgery back or in the cases of the osteoporosis. And the idiopathic type of scoliosis is also the structural scoliosis. This idiopathic scoliosis is the most common type which have no specific unidentified cause. In the idiopathic scoliosis, there are four types of scoliosis. The first one is the infantile that affects at the birth below the age of three years. The second one is the juvenile that occurs at the pre-puberty age that means three years until nine years of age. The infantile is below three years and the juvenile is in between 3 to 9 years. And the third stage is the adolescent stage that hits in the puberty. That means 10 years to 18 years of age. And the last stage of the idiopathic scoliosis is the adult stage which occurs after the maturity that is after 18 years of age. And the second type of the scoliosis is the non-structural type of scoliosis. The non-structural scoliosis is also called as the postural or the functional scoliosis. Here, the lateral curvature of the spine is present but the rotation of the vertebrae is not seen. This non-structural scoliosis is a reversible lateral curvature of the spine and it disappears when the patient lies in the supine or prone position. The types of the non-structural scoliosis is the postural in which the curvature is formed due to the prolonged use of the wrong posture. The second type is the compensatory, which is caused by the leg length discrepancy and there is no rotation of the vertebrae seen here and it goes off during the sitting position. The sciatic scoliosis. This curve results from trying to avoid the pain from an irritated sciatic nerve during the disorder of the sciatica. Inflammatory scoliosis. In the inflammatory scoliosis, the curvature in the spine is caused by the infective process like the appendicitis which causes curves in response to the disease or the abnormal abdominal muscle spasm and the hysterical cause. The hysterical scoliosis is very rare and it has an underlining psychological component. So guys, this is all about the term scoliosis which is an abnormal lateral curvature of the spine. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel.